this video, we'll discuss the similarities and differences between the theories of Florence Nightingale and Hildegard Peplu. Florence Nightingale's theory had five points. Pure air, pure water, efficient drainage, cleanliness, and life. The key to healing was a healthy environment. Hildegard Peplow's nursing theory was based on interpersonal relations. Um, she described six roles, which are six nursing roles, which are stranger, resource, teaching, leadership, surrogate, and counselor. The stranger role is where a nurse introduces themselves to the patient and develops trust. The resource role is when the patient looks to the nurse for knowledge and information. The teaching role is where the nurse identifies the needs of the patient and identifies their preferred learning method. The leadership role is when the patient looks at the nurse as a role model, but also still encouraging them to keep their autonomy. Now the surrogate role is where the patient may identify the nurse as somebody that they know in their life, but the nurse needs to separate that role and ensure their professionalism and keep herself, his or herself, into that professional role as a nurse. The counselor role is when the nurse allows the patient to express their concerns about their future care and condition. Now, both of these methods are overall in the holistic care of your patient. Now these theories are still being used and advanced upon in today's nursing. In practice today, we still emphasize cleanliness in the process of patient care and also care for the psychosocial needs of the patients for a total holistic patient-centered care. <laughs>